Hi and welcome to this DCP Web DaVinci Resolve tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add transitions between media clips. So we did do this in the previous tutorial. In my main tutorial, I showed you how to add transitions, but I found a different way to do this. So I just want to share that with you. So I'll open up DaVinci Resolve. This is the project we worked on last time. And if I open up this project, just double click on it. <coughs> and we go to the edit timeline. We can see in here that um, <coughs> in order to get the transitions to work, we stack them on layers and we added our transitions this way, which is okay, it works, it's perfectly fine. But it would be nice if all of the media clips were on a single line and it would be a bit easier to edit later. Uh, and look at the clip. So let's go to file, save project as, and we'll save it as a new version. So we call it Amazing Planet Earth version two. Let's call it V2 and save it. And then I need to, basically what I need to do is unlock these layers. So I'm gonna unlock the layers. This one here, let's start unlocking these layers so we can move the clips up the timeline into a single timeline uh, so that, or a single layer. So let's start with this clip here. We'll drag this one to here, we'll drag this one up here, and we'll keep dragging them and stacking them side by side. Just got to be a bit careful when you're dragging, yeah? So make sure you drag to the side here, like this. So we're putting them all on one single line rather than stacking them in this way before, and I think from what I read in the manual, uh, there's there's another way that we can do this. I've been reading through the manual recently. So let's just drag this one up. And it'll save us having to move up and down the timeline to, to get to our content. So with this one here, I'm gonna click on the clip and then hold down the shift key and click on this uh, text that we put in there as well. Let's, let's just move across a little bit. I'm gonna need to unlock this top layer as well. And then we can drag just hold down the shift, select both of them, and we'll drag them up to here. Now we've got everything on one single line rather than having them stacked. So what I want to do is right click here. So I'm going to click on this transition, click on it and delete it. I'm going to delete all these transitions. All these end ones, I want to delete them and we'll add them in a different way. You see, we can get this to work. Probably, probably the end one, we can leave it there. We'll see. Um, and the beginning one, we'll leave it. So we want to add a transition between these two elements, this one here and this one here. Now, before we would have dragged it down and overlapped it and put the transition at the first one, and then you would have seen the transition between the two. But now we've got them side by side. What we need to do is move our mouse cursor in between each clip like this and you'll see it will highlight red when you left click and it will, you'll get these two sort of uh, you'll get these this icon change to two directions left and right if you can see that then you want to right click and then add a 30 frame transition which is one second roughly yeah? so we'll click here and then we'll say trim clips and then it will add the transition in between so as default if we play it We'll see it will just fade from one to the other like that and that's what we wanted previously but we stacked them uh, doing it a slightly different way so that's a one second transition between the two um, so we can drag other fades now so we can look at something like you know let's do something a bit crazy here let's do like let's do this barn door one so we drag that onto the transition here at this position and then we'll play it and we'll see this different type of transition. Like that. Oh, I don't really like that too much. I'm just going to stick with like a, a basic transition. I'm going to try and keep all the transitions consistent. So you can do like a blur dissolve or just a smooth cut. Let's see what a smooth cut looks like. 
Nah. Cross dissolve, I think, is the best. Yeah. So now we want to add a transition between these two. So we'll click in between them, right click, add 30 frame transition, trim the clips, and then it will put the clip here. We can do the same here 30 frames, trim clips. And this is how we can add transitions between the clips. I'm just going to do that on all of these. What I'm doing is right clicking in between, add 30 frame. And that's it, we're done. Now we've got everything on one single timeline rather than having them stacked like before. Um, that's how I've read it in the documentation. So we can then drag our cross dissolve here. We can drag it here as well because I like to keep the transitions consistent. Maybe, yeah, cross dissolve here. So they should all be using the same transition now. Let's make, uh, now with this first one, we didn't, if we go to the very beginning and click play, it does fade in, it's using the transition there. Um, we could right click, delete this transition, and there's a little, little handle in the top corner. This little white handle, we can drag that across. It's a bit hard to see, but if we drag it across to somewhere like here, we're really we're doing a fade now. Um, and that will have the same sort of effect as the transition. So we didn't have to put a transition at the beginning. We can just use this fade here. So if I fade it quite, quite a lot, for example, you'll see that a bit more clearly now. So it's fading in like this. quite a long fade something like this so that's how we're adding our transitions now now it's all on one timeline we don't have all these nine or ten different timelines that was not probably not the best way to do it this is probably a much better way to do it don't you think it's all nice and compact and simple so in theory we can right click uh, we can right click on this this uh, video nine this timeline or this uh, layer here and just delete the track or delete this track we we'll delete number eight, seven. We can delete, delete all of these. We don't need any of them now. Delete video one at the bottom. We don't need this one either. We can right click. Now we just have our audio and our video stacked on top and we can see it quite clear. Now really we need to drag this audio a bit further down so we can sync it up with um, the, the video here. So it's in the same length. So we click play. One thing I did notice, right, is when I deleted those layers and I click play with the audio, I don't seem to hear any audio anymore for some reason. I don't know why that is. Um, let's click play. Can you see there's no audio playing now? It is there. So if we just go to File, Save Project, so it's, it's called version 2 now, Earth, close it, and then reopen it. That was the only way I could really fix that. Someone else can tell me, maybe, if you know. Hopefully someone knows uh, why that is. Uh, so if you know, let me know. But it seemed to work okay after I save it, close it, and reopen it. It seems the audio seems fine afterwards. So we'll try that now. So we've got this Planet Earth 2, so we've got two versions now, right? One with stacked timeline and one with just a single timeline or single um, video layer with all the transitions inside. So let's double click and open this version 2. And in theory, when we play now, we should hear the audio. Now we can hear the audio. So I'm not sure why when we delete the layers, we have to save it, close it and reopen it. Maybe there's some sync button on this software somewhere to resync it all, I don't know. But, um, here we go, it's all good. So in the next tutorial, I'm going to go and read up some of the manual and find out how we can 
uh, fade out this audio quickly. This is not, it doesn't seem like this is done right. So I'm going to go and do some research and reading up how we can fade the audio at the end and maybe fade it in at the beginning. Let me try and figure out how that's done. Um, it might be just as simple as dragging here, to be honest. Let's try that. Let's actually, I think that's all it is, to be honest. Let's right click here, delete this transition. And I think it's as simple as that, to be honest. It seems like it. So let's try that. Um, let's go back to the beginning of it. Well, let's play it from here. Let's see if it fades out. Let's fade it out from like here. Let's play that. Yeah, I think it's as simple as that. There's a little handle here. And that allows us to fade out the audio. Um, and we can increase and decrease the volume here using this tool. But to fade the audio, all we need to do is just drag this handle, I believe. That's it. And that will fade out the audio. So we can fade it from here. In theory, at the beginning, if we fade it quite a lot, we might be able to hear it a bit better, the fade. Yeah, that's all it is. So in my first tutorial when we was looking at this, I was working out how to fade this audio. Well, fade it out, not really fade it in, but now I'm gonna fade it in here just by grabbing this little white handle from this top left-hand corner, drag it across, that will fade in the audio, and then we can do the same on the other end to fade it out. And I'm just fading it out basically on the duration of this clip here. And that's it, job done. So we learned a couple of things today, a couple of new things. Well, I have learned a few new, few new things. Number one, to get all of this content onto the same line and use that transition there. So remember, you have to right click and then you have to set the 30 seconds and then it will cut the clip and put the transition duration in. Then you can drag and drop any of your transitions from here. Go and experiment with these. Some of these are quite nice. Uh, these different transitions, you can play around with them. There's quite a lot here, right, to experiment with. Um, and that's how we're going to fade out the audio. So really, the last thing I'll probably do is click delivery. And then, in theory, um, let's just call it, what do we call this? Amazing Planet Earth. Let's call it V2. We can probably copy this. And let's cancel this. We want to save it as a... Save it as an MP4. We'll browse it here. We'll save it in here as version two. And then we can add it to the queue and then we can render it out. And this won't take long, it's take a few seconds. Okay, we're done. So let's go to File, Save. And if we were to open this in, where's our file? So the transitions are all working and we can hear the audio fading in and fading out. So we learned a couple of new things. Well, we've definitely learned a few, few new things today. So we can get all the videos on a single timeline or the single uh, video track. 
and then put the transitions in between them so we don't have to stack them no more. You can stack them in that way if you want or you can have them all on the same time on the same video line. Um, I prefer to have it all on the same line because then it's a bit easier to edit afterwards, right? And to see what's going on. So I've learned something new today. Hopefully this information will help you to build a better video edits and pretty much both tutorials work the same way but I think this one is a bit better in terms of... Um, getting those transitions to work and we also learned how to fade in and out audio okay i hope you find this tutorial useful i look forward to seeing you on the next dcp web tutorial